<laughs> What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to a, another uh, om Omni Science draft here on Magic Online. Oh, nope. Empty. <laughs> Arena. Chandelier. Chandelier. <laughs> Chandelier. I want to swing. Chandelier. From the chandelier. Hi. Welcome <laughs> to the Frank Lepore Show. I'm your special guest, Elk Tears, with BioVisionary. And the extra is, special guest. This is our host, Frank Frank Lepore. Welcome to an omniscience draft on Magic Arena. And now, Frank. Take it away. I want to enter the draft now. What's your favorite type of ice cream? The chat wants to know. My favorite type of ice cream? Um, so... I'm going to preface by saying I don't love ice cream. I don't really eat it that often. I try to avoid having too much um, dairy. Um, I will say, and this is going to sound like a very obscure flavor, but there are a handful of ice cream shops um, that do lavender-flavored ice cream. And for me personally, it's one of the tastiest things I've ever had. I'm going to go with Adventurous Impulse because, oh, wait, mm, uh, it's going to be five. It's always going to be five, right? That I feel like that great. card is uh, still unplayable. It's like they can't make a format good enough for this card. For this card to work. Probably kill the Raiders. Yeah, Discard maybe. a card, draw a card. Makes all our blank draws better. Thorn I have, Elemental is great. great. I have ice cream opinions. Anybody, not that anybody cares. That seems... Wow, that's really... I like I like Wizard of Short a lot in this format, I think. Elk Tears <laughs> likes LaCroix ice cream. I guess I guess lavender ice cream is probably the lacroix. Pro I think that's um, the lacroix of ice cream. I just don't love. La oh, there you yep. go. That's really late. I wonder if the bots are like well programmed for this format of drafting. Why the hell not? I feel like you just take all the legends. I agree. I feel like it just opens you up to certain things. But also five five death push. Please, bio visionary, please explain your ice cream and where you prefer to purchase it. Well, eating a sandwich. I'm glad you asked. So. My favorite ice cream flavor, just in general, is probably going to be Moose Tracks, because that fudge is, is really on point. And that you can just get at any supermarket. Or, um, oh, uh, Guardians, because you can go infinite. Yeah, I do like the Guardians. I think it's probably pretty good. However, if we're talking, like, really amazing ice cream flavor, there's this little ice cream shop, local to me, that does all their own flavors. And they had an exclusive one last fall that was sweet potato bread pudding ice cream. And they put fresh honey on it. And it was one of the best things I ever tasted. So there you go. Probably just five four. I'm just not. I'm not super keen on. I don't like like very like vivid, intense flavors when it comes to sweet stuff. Uh, which is why like I'm a big Lacroix or just like flavored seltzer guy in general. And I that's I'm really keen on ice cream flavors like lavender or again. Wow, squeeze. that's amazing. So let's just open two squeeze. Juggernaut maybe. Yeah, I was thinking Juggernaut. Or Blessed Light. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's essentially sure path, uh, path to Exile in this format. Oh, Fight with Fire? Oh, but you can it's never... You can never kick it. It's cost six to Wait, kick. Wait, yeah, you literally can never kick it, yeah. right? Well, you'd have to play like a Worn Power Stone, a Power Stone chart in your deck. So that you can tap the one and then We're use the five that give you. It's just Divination. It's 100% Divination, yeah. unfortunately. Oh, uh, Wild Onslaught seems insane. Because you can kick it. Oh, that does seem good. But there's also a cool one day. Eviscerate's good, too. I'm going to take the Wild Onslaught. I actually misspoke. Oh, Runus Blast. Sweet Potato Biscuit bread pudding. I, I think forgot the biscuits. I think you get enough Legends to uh, make well, Runus Blast good. We only have two right now, though. Yeah, but you're in the beginning of pack two. Legends are a dime a dozen in this format. What would you rather take? Impulse? Yeah, Impulse, because it just literally cycles. It just draws you into your better stuff. You can get another impulse, I think. Hmm. You can't get another hmm. impulse. Chat, what do you think? Blast or impulse? AKA the green ponder. I say uh, Ronus Blast. Unless I need to get in chat and say it. Maybe. All right, I'll take it because I think it's strong, but... 
Huh, chat was saying impulse weird. Yeah, I don't think it's I don't think it's good. Like there's certain like there were certain situations where we couldn't cast temporal sundering, and I think the, the upside for us was much higher with temporal sundering. Yeah, that's true. Because this kills everything. So if you have a legendary, I guess it keeps your guys around. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it keeps it keeps your legends around. That guy's never gonna deal anything. I think it's just this fire intervention. Yeah. Five damage does not seem like a lot in this format, though. Maybe the trick? Actually, the trick seems okay. That, yeah, the trick seems good, too. Skizik? We will trace. always kick it. Yeah, it's essentially a, just a 5-3 trample haste. Impulse is pretty oh. good. Oh, that's true. See? I told you you'd get more of those. Did you say that? Yeah, I said... Ops is probably better than Impulse, though, right? Really? I feel like Impulse is better in this format. Because you're, you're looking at three cards for a creature, where op is you're just... You're looking at two cards. Yeah. But it's also like, if you don't hit a creature... <sighs> Aren't there 36 Planeswalkers in the next set? That's this guy's also 20. fine. It's just four four minutes, but maybe it's not great. I, don't I know. think Skizik's better than that guy. These hands are pretty... These cards... Actually, some pretty bad time. Flame is not terrible. Yeah, because your hand's going to be empty most of the time. Yeah, we can take that. Draw two the next turn. Sure. Uh, draw a card, then discard a card unless you exile a historic card from your graveyard. I feel like... Uh, it's 5-4. Four. Four. Sure. This does not seem like it's going as well as the Wait, previous one. Wait, uh, does Dampening Sphere do anything in this format? Uh, Kind of, a but it hurts bit. you too, so it's not like it's... Oh, right. It just makes it less you play one I, spell I was just turn. wondering if it's as broken as like Lavinia was in the Cascade format. But I guess not. I feel like we're getting a lot of Fire Elementals. Fire Elemental top deck. Permanent control to Zoner's hand. Is that any good? I mean, mm -hmm. let's just play Kelden Raiders for free again. It's probably better than another random four, four powered creature. Okay. It's not terrible. Oh, well, I guess we're getting a demonic vigor anyway. There okay. We go. All right. All right. That's pretty good. And hey, it's a legend for your. Uh, yep. Blast. You're not wrong. That's pretty good. Hey. Oh, that's pretty good that's too. Pretty good. All right. Oh, another Slinvada too. Oh, and weight of memory. Oh, I think it's Siege Gang. No, yes, I think so too. But I'm just saying, this is a good pack. Two out of Giant is also fine. It's also Wizard of the Tour. I don't know how this works. Yeah, what was it doing in the last game? Was it doing anything busted? It didn't seem like they were actually playing the spell. Like, I don't know if you can play the spell for zero, right? What is the... What is the, Does it say you cast the cards from your hand for zero? You don't have to pay mana cost for the spells you cast. Yeah, it does not say from your hand. So can I can I activate Rona every turn and then... Well, it's activated ability, which I feel like would use your five mana that yeah. you're given to do. Right, right they use that, but... but Oh, if then the cast card. If you exile a legendary, you can just cast it that turn for free. I still think I don't know. Giant's better, probably. Yeah, I agree. Sandy, your last chance. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Uh, wow. Tatiova really looking bad. In this <laughs> looking <one. laughs> pretty bad. I think it's probably Bailoth Gorger here. Yeah, the Grand War, War Warlord doesn't do anything. This is basically a 3 4 that adds mana that you don't need. 3 4 hits, but yeah. Sure. Memorial of the Venus, that's funny. I mean, this actually counters... Well, so the problem is, like... It's like, you pay five for it, right? Like, so you'll pay the blue for free, and then you can add the five mana. And then they add their five mana to just pay for it, right? Yeah. Seems so, it's it's bad. That's, it's, it's either Divest or Ancient Animus. Maybe it's Ancient Animus. Do we have enough... Legendary guys to fight Slinvana, Tyant. Is it historic? Well, it's still, or? It's, yeah, but it still fights. It's, it only gets the counter. If it's oh, yeah, okay. We can do that. That seems fine. Oh, wow. Grun. Grun is insane. Yep. Wait, how much does Grun cost a K? Three. Three. Yeah, Grun is insane. Thorn and Elemental Thorn again? Elemental? Sure. Alright, these packs are getting better. Make an extra pack. Too. Yep, take this guy. We also have a bunch of filtering in this deck, which we didn't take last time. Oh, Dark Bartle. Uh oh. Oh, oh, the Slimvada came, came that's back. that's pretty good. All right, we're doing it. Yep. Yeah, just taking over the came, came together better. Came together better. You know what I love about this deck? We didn't end up with any power stone shreds. Shut up and take my money. That is a better one. 
Oh, tacos are the Mexican hot dog. Elk tears, that's a weird opinion. I didn't know you felt that way. Well, well, I had tacos last night, and I forgot to mention it while we were eating, so I wanted everyone to know now. I had no idea. It's good to know. Thank you. So do we want this cabal evangel, or do we rather have this bird? The bird. Bird is the word. Or this first strike. First strike and haste. Oh, first strike and haste? Oh, that's actually much better than I thought. That's insane. Yeah, I'll take that over the... Where the the Cabal of Angel. All right, let's see how we let's see how this deck does. We got the Varix. Divest equals remove target vest. That's actually a pretty good strategy. Super Fritz, you're Is this you again? Wrong. Yes, that's my. Foot. Okay. Well. Yeah, I'm good. I keep it. I also shuffle this Dark Vargum back in with the Guy's Blessing because yeah. it's basically just draw two every turn. You never go first. It's so sad. Is that all you got? Really? That is all you got? Drink time. Show me what you got. You gonna counter this? No, okay. Well, I guess we'll take... I think two five fours are better than four two, so... What's going on? Wait, why isn't letting... Did I do that to the end of their turn? Oh, that's interesting. I don't think there's any harm in that. No, I just didn't even think about it. Oh my god, just play out your defense when you kill. Well, we'd have to lose the... Adamant Wall? Yeah. Well, no, is the discard your hand the first thing? It is. Yeah. Right? Oh, no we don't. Shut up and take my money. There you go. Putting your money in a Roth IRA is a far better strategy than a 401k. Even if your employee matches funds, <laughs> employer matches funds. I mean, I've been trying to tell you that this entire <laughs> visit. I am going to send Hodge Galashi $100 when I get home. This is legally binding. That's really binding. generous of you. <laughs> I just think Hodge Galashi is a really cool dude, especially since he's uh, delivering us public subs. This is Hodge Galashi is a cool binding. dude. Ancient I think in the life, that's fine. Our guy's indestructible, so. Wow. Flame of Keld OP. Hmm. If a red source deal damage deals 2 plus, so now these guys are. Yeah. Oh, they just mill for? Oh, we mill for? Uh, we lost some pretty powerful cards there. Four and one one guardian. Did we ever get a second guardian? <laughs> oh! That's pretty good. Blessed Light when we are attacking for 20 next turn is pretty insane. Is this good? It feels good. You're gonna unwind? Ooh. I mean, it's a one for one. They have no cards in hand. I'll deal with it. How many will actually be playable and make impact though outside of drafts? What do you guys? Oh, you talking about the planeswalkers? planeswalkers? Um, I, so I was actually I was wondering if they would ever make uncommon planeswalkers. Oh, well, rupture spire. This right? play uh, forty lands quest is kind of dead right now. But I don't think you can actually. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, we can cycle that when we get done. Adulashi, yes, flame of kill is insane in this format. What is flames of killed? The card we play. Oh, okay. Uh, see, this hand seems terrible. Both of these are one one random card is better than both of these in our hand. Sure. Let's hope to play a creature. Damn it. So I could have countered that. Is it too late? That was too late. Yeah. Well. Oh, thank God. The, oh, that's good, though. That just gives it hexproof. Oh, I should have oh, responded. Yeah. Well, you, you do that with run. Do you want to get Are you yeah, sure? sure? I appreciate the ask. They tend to ask you to do something that would be, that would be strange. Stupid. To, yeah, or stupid to do, yes. Are you sure you want to be this stupid? Yes, Magic Arena, I do. You're being a real dummy. 
I know. Oh. <sighs> I'm sorry, did you just kill my guy? Well, they settled the score. They exiled the guy. That's kind of rude. Have a good weekend, Hunt Galashi. Um, I'll make sure Elk Tears follows through on his legally binding contract with you. Bye, Haji Galashi. Haji boy, have a good afternoon, buddy. We'll miss Have you. a good weekend. I'm gonna go eat a pizza. That's a solid decision. I'll make sure Elk Tears sends you that hundred dollars in PayPal. We'll both do that. So. They have a siege gang too. Yeah, they think they're better than us. You think you're better than us? Be sure to report back on the pizza that you're eating. It's very important. Do we block them? Yes, we do. Block them every day. I'm gonna sacrifice this goblin to shoot this guy. Bye, I am Valley Man. Thanks for coming by. I'm saying hello. Billy, have a good weekend, buddy. You're eating a meatball pizza. It's interesting. Is it? Golgari? We're done. This guy's terrible. He's trying his best, okay? Is he? How do you know that? Because. How do you know, though? He's attacking like a champ. Is it a 4 2? Yeah, that guy's terrible. See? Guy okay, protected. him being terrible, and he doesn't mean he's not trying his best. His best might just be terrible. Well, he didn't even try to survive that. <laughs> he didn't even, like. Yeah, he did nothing that would help him. The guy is protector. It does nothing. It's unblockable. It nothing. It is menace. It does have Manasio. Hey, Green Ponder. Okay, we're dead. Hi. Are we one, two or one one? One one, right? We won the first one. Last or something. Okay, we got this. It's okay. It's okay. It's just a hiccup. It's a minor hiccup. That means we're gonna win the whole thing. Yeah, get your losses out of the way now, and then. That's the way I like to do it. Live on the edge the entire time. Hey, you're playing five boy. I'm sorry, what? You're playing five boy. Five, five boy? Whoa? Fly boy? I thought it said Fabio for a second and then realized it didn't. Uh, my name is Fabio. This is actually pretty good on a siege gang. Yeah. I can even sack it. I'll keep this in. Do we get to play? No. We never get to play. I know. This is what I'm saying. Damn you, five bo. Five. <laughs> That's gonna be our record soon. 5-0. Are you milling us? They milled themselves? Then they soul sell. They have a navigator's compass in their deck? That's fascinating. Alright, chat them dork right now. Make Liliana say scrub. <laughs> That's the hack. Wait, can you even make them talk anymore? Uh, I shut my emotes off, so okay. the answer is no. Okay. That's pretty good. So now the question is, which one do we want to? I don't know. Bigger? Which one of our red rares do we put this on? Oh, our last opponent's in chat. Ranger, good games, buddy. Good games. I could not beat that uh, Liliana Vess. Is that her name? I don't know what her name is. What? John Vess. List the Lich Lady. No, Lich jo Vess. Josu Vess. Josu Vess. The other Vess. Are they related, Liliana and Josu? No. How do they both have the last name Vess if they're not related? Well, it's like Smith. Not everyone named Smith is related. Okay, Vess and Smith are not similar in Magic. Maybe. Well, There's maybe There's no way magic, magic creators would name them both Vesses if they're not related, right? Well, yeah, I think it's her brother. I'm pretty sure Josu is her, her brother. brother. Oh, well, they're not related. They're not related. They're not related. I think it's her brother. Good one. <laughs> Good save. How can be your brother? He's a zombie knight. Which which one do we demonic bigger? They both have. Yeah, her brother died, which is what triggered her to become a planeswalker. That's where her she got her spark. I believe. Triggered. There's the card Dark Dabbling where uh, she's trying to save it. Demonic, demonic Vigor or Siege Gang? Demonic Vigor or, or, I mean, or Siege Gang? Or, or Those or are your Gang. options. I feel like our turn one was a little better. Yeah. 
Absolutely. She made him a zombie okay, and she I tried knew, to resurrect him. Yeah. I knew it was her brother. Okay. Nailed I was, it. I was making a joke. Liliana's last name is of the veil. Everyone knows that. That's true. Oh, oh shit. Their turn two is better than ours. We got we got blessed light. We're gonna remove this dare. It doesn't get rid of dare, guys. Why wouldn't it? If it would die instead of Exile 3. Oh. How, in what in what world does this? I thought it was just gonna leave the battlefield. Even so, it still gets three egg counters, so we have three turns before it actually uh Your dad got three egg counters. <laughs> He's right, my dad did get three egg counters. Oh, that's it. <laughs> that's all it takes. You Apparently, a siege gang of Varix, a, a reanimated Varix, and away. killing their Daragaz. Oh my god, this has become a, a Josu Liliana lore stream. <laughs> she actually made him into a Lich chat, Knight. That's like what happened in Lich's Mastery. Josu's ass. Josu and the Dusty Cats. Josu and the Dusty Cats. Keep. Snap, keep. Yeah. Snap ems, make keep ems, as the kids say. Anybody would know that the Josu best order would be someone named Zom. But... You gonna counter my befuddle? What if oh, they kill befuddling. this guy in response and then they're like, oh, now you don't get to draw that card? That's sad. That's befuddling? Be counted your befuddle. Hmm. Liliana Del Rey. Yeah. Should have done on this guy. So back to uh, hashtag. Back candy. to reality. Handy talk. Oop, there goes the gravity. Chat. Mom uh -oh, spaghetti. Ponder. Chat has every has anyone uh, tried the three new flavors of peanut M and M's? I have. There, what? There's Mexican jalapeno, uh, English toffee, and Thai coconut. Are you making this up right now? No. There's no way he made that up. And they're trying. They're trying to. It's like you vote, and one of them's going to be a permanent flavor. I tried all three on my plate over here. Oh wow! This I'm going to have insane. to check this out. I'm curious if anybody in chat tried them. What they like, which ones they like? When we go to Publix to get subs, we're going to have to find these M&Ms. When are we actually getting subs? It's 2 o'clock now, and he's got to leave in, like, a while, so... When is this happening? When are we driving to Publix, getting subs, and coming back here? Well, I tried to make it a sub-ordering stream earlier, but we got distracted. I know, but that doesn't answer the question. I don't know. Okay. My favorite M&M is the Reese's Pieces ones. That's because you're a classy dude. That's because you are full of class. This has death touch? No, none of these. So we can actually... They could double false. block your gun. It's not false when it's true. The whole world agrees. No. That one person agrees. Uh, the, literally, the poll was like 70-30. I don't... I don't remember that. I honestly don't remember that. Do you really not? No, we I don't... I, I remember... I know. I don't remember the results. You lost. <laughs> Maybe that's why I don't remember. Maybe we have to do it again. Maybe we should just drop uh, Can I go to blocks? I really didn't want to take all that. I really wanted to block. So that's kind of sad, but okay. Hey. Sure. Ten. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep, we're just going to attack four in the air and try not to die, I guess. Which is really what I do with my entire life. Every day I just wake up and try not to die. I mean, isn't that... Hashtag dark stream. Do you not try to do that every day? That's just reality. I don't try. It just happens. Well, some, I guess it's easier for some people. Better lucky than good. So. <laughs> I just I just had my face dry cleaned up. Um, anyway, my favorite one was the uh, English toffee. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, no one else has tried any of those. So no one knows the pleasure of your experience. Well, now they know which one to go if they can if they get if they can only get one. This one seems good. We'll see. This hand seems good. What is this, Bounce? Yeah, Bounce. Is grumpy okay. Stump. I That's what I had interview. How was your interview, Grumpy Stump? Hello. Good afternoon. Oh, Grumpy Stump. Yeah. 
I feel like I kept mixing Grumpy Sub up with a uh, Young Ram because both their names were like kind of similar in their structure. Yeah, the and Grumpy mm -hmm. Stump, a, a, a Young Ram. Yeah. And they were all probably on the same time talking. Yeah, they were Chat. on. They were definitely on at the same yeah. time. Man, this Dark Bargain and Divination tech is really Are you good on space. I'm, yeah. I'm okay. Yeah, you're good. Thank you. I mean, you guys can see each other. You guys are all on here represented well, so. Right, but I want to make sure that we're all still comfortable. Uh oh, part of wanderer. That's a worse part of wanderer. That's a sub part of wanderer. I like it. Deal. Whoa, the grumpy stump. Congrats, dude. That's awesome. Oh my god. That's a good feeling, man. Way to go. Same day, they just couldn't wait. They're like, yep, we're hiring you. So you guys, watch a 15-hour stream hosted by Frank Lepore. Get your dream job the next day. Available. Proven fact. Anytime, on demand. I that's think we're not, dead again. That's not okay. This is not okay, what's happening here. This is a pretty, like, uh, swingy format as far as, like, luck goes. Leave that bush alone. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus, leave the bush alone. Yeah, we're dead. That's we're what dead. she said. They're yep. storming. They're storming off. Wow, you covered your mouth after you said that one. That was good. Wait, what'd you say? Oh, did you say that's what she said about leave the bush alone? Oh my god, you silly little applehead. <laughs> I'm sorry. God. I'm sorry, chat. I'm sorry. Not sorry. God, this garden is also insane because it gives everything haste. Divination is a bombless format, lol. It definitely is. Mm -hmm. Can we do it? Wow. All right, so this 1-3 was nowhere near as good as the previous uh, offering that we had. Our packs weren't as good this time. Yeah, well. Oh, it's a 2-3. Two, 2-3, two, three. Two, three, not 1-3. Uh, yeah, Grump pack. Grumpy Stump. Uh... I thought you had a really good response Let's open uh, to, to like that dominaria practice nice. question that someone asked. You. Oh, Karamazov. Hey, that's not a gem. If I haven't seen it, it's new to me. <laughs> My favorite card. <laughs> Zalad. And let's get our gems from this guy. This video is very short. We can actually probably do a second one. You mean a third one? Yeah, well, second one for this video. Oh, interesting. Not in general. Interesting. It's only 27 minutes, like, that's super short. I love it. We're improvising. All right. Oh, here we go. That card seems awesome in this format. Yes. With all the draw spells. Running it back. Narumaha. Naruma, Naruma, Naruma. Oh, did you take the command out? <laughs> what did I take? What? The command out. What command out? Did we open Jaya's emulating in front Because it wasn't relevant anymore. Because oh. wasn't. Because I want to keep the command list clean. That's true. It's relevant today, though. Well, just dark bargain. Off the Florida Keys. Do 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 do. Here's a place called Naruha. You'll cast the spell and then she'll copy it. She gives wizards plus one plus one. She's a legendary. <laughs> hey Frank, who's that guy behind you? Looks like Zachary Levi. I don't know who Zachary Levi is. Apparently this guy looks like him. This guy. Zachary this Le guy. Zachary Levi is an actor uh, from, I believe, um, the NBC show Chuck. Who was also starring in the the DC look at this universe? Look at this film. useless card where you're just like, I can't reactivate this. Oh yeah, that's fine. Shazam, yes. Frank, yeah. yell Shazam and see what happens. No, I'm good. Just uh, in case. Nah, B, that ain't me. Uh, hey, who's that guy in the front? He looks like he'd appreciate a good taco. I would appreciate a good taco. Are you in the front? Are you, oh, I, I I thought I was in the front, and I could I could appreciate a good taco. 
I do appreciate good tacos. My bad. So many sentences start with who's that guy in the back that I... Well, you might be in the front from a certain point of view. Yeah. Depends on your perspective. Uh, Fat Sumo, who were you referring to? Were you referring to me, the guy technically in the back, or Frank? Oh, you're not the guy in front, weird, nice hair man. Weird, nice hair man. Thank you. Hashtag compliment stream. My god. Unwind. Yeah, that was surprisingly good against us. Uh, Impulse. Or the weather light. Yeah. Yeah. Are we drafting a soul die deck? With white, yeah. That's where we want to Oh, go. July seems good. But you can never activate yeah, it. God, the never activating clause is really obnoxious. The rest of it's okay, though. Just a 3-4 flyer that gives your other creatures hexproof. You can also take guardians and try to hedge on that combo. Or Caligo Skin Witch. I like the Guardians better because it is just like a one turn combo. Ah, Guardians of Corlos. Bum, bum, bum. That doesn't work. That doesn't do anything. I got excited because they know. give you that mana cost. Yeah. But it's just still just better than this, right? A yeah, but is it better than. Cabal Paladin? I mean, that's a piece you need to go in to do the combo. Yeah, if you want to Cabal start Paladin. collecting those pieces. Another vote for you looking like Eli Roth. Oh, nice. Otherwise known as the Bear Jew. Eli Roth, I believe, is also uh, half Italian, when, which would make sense because we both have those caterpillar eyebrows. <laughs> Does that do anything? Well, we're always going to be kicking, but do we have the kicks to kick? That's what I said. It's hilarious how bad Skidder and Survivor is when I would like literally like first pick that card sometimes in this format. Oh, 100%. Academy Drake is good. Halar is Halar is just also a legendary guy, which does kind yeah, of tears. Elky Ra. It's like the Halar. Hala, uh, Cloud Rear Sinks. I do like that. Scrying is still good in this format. Is this a scry you're format? Gross. You're gross. Oh, you're, you're gross. another another cabal cabal. Take paladin. the you're gross. Oh dang it, I missed it. I didn't have eyes for it. Uh, Still Leaf seems Still Leaf so seems good. real good actually. Wait, Five. no Guardians. Guardians. Over the Dark Bargle? Well, do you want the combo or not? Kind of. But Dark Bargain can help us find the other one. And it's just better in general. But we don't have two yet. It's true. Can we get another one? I think so. I think you can get another Dark Bargain. But well, I, don't, I think people probably know what's up with the Guardian combo. But there's not people. We're not we're not drafting against people that are going to take them. Oh. It's bot drafting. Yeah. Wow, it's going to be really sad if we don't get it. We got another pack. It's true. We do another pack. How many 10 lives can we gain? All oh, of them. That seems good, actually. That seems whatever to me, the, the gruel kicker dude. We already have one anyways. Oh, wow. Born elemental. That's nice. Uh, Spore Swarm seems good. Spore Swarm does seem okay, but we can also gain 10 life. Gaining 10 life, like... Like, you can actually play two of these. Sure. Yeah, well, you, yeah. Can, it's, you, you, know, well, you can't do it multiple. Once. You can do it once a turn. No, I mean multiple times per game, I meant. Um, like, turn one, gain 10 life. Turn two, gain 10 life. Yeah, I Power know. Stone he did chart. pass on the combo. He seemed very confident we're going to get another one. He was. He still is. He's doing good. Gain 10 life again? No, I don't think... I think three is the limit for me. Because we're going to actually play those guys, and they're going to play seven, six, five, five, And it's going to literally just fog for a turn. That's true. Oh, do anything. yeah, it's very good. Yeah, it gets yeah, this card is insane. Puts four bears in our deck. Why in our deck? Why not just put them in play? Well, if we put the card in our deck now, we have four bears in our deck. Okay, I guess that's a good point. I, I think Arvad's pretty Arvad good here. Arvad seems very strong here. Okay, okay. God, I'm gonna be sad if we don't get the Guardian. Y'all like y'all got any last tea? Marwin, we, welcome to Marwin. We can equip. No yeah, you can equip because we'll get the five seems good. mana to do that. I think Gorge is probably better than Worm. I would say. Yeah, it's seven seven versus seven six, but it does use our mana for the turn, so three of it, four right. of it. Oh, I thought you were talking about the whatever. Equipment. Take the seven six then. 
Yeah, I'm thinking like because we can play this and kick it and play yeah, this on right. the same turn. Uh, I'm uh, there's also just not a lot of six powered creatures in this format. <clears throat> so like the, the potential survival. Right. If it was a seven survival. five, it's different. But so the way this works is oh, yeah, final spells, parting with Nahumeha. Spells are free, but it's you're given. Free. We also um, already have one, but this oh. is the best card in your deck. Yeah. Exactly. Five mana a turn to activate abilities, and you're given Woburg. It's Woburg. Oh. You're given each turn. It's better than Dark Bargain. Yeah, it is. So there's this. There's the second Dark Bargain, and not. I mean, have not seen a Guardian yet. Probably Worm. I think we whiffed on the Guardian. Damn it. I think you might be right. I was 100 percent right because we did see the the second bargain. It's okay. We'll win the old-fashioned way without infinite turtles. How many fat turtles we got? Two already? Might just want this for blocks. Make four dudes. Yeah, that seems pretty good. I like that. Fungal bots? Does that do anything? Not really. Well, we do have a spore swarm and uh, uh Did we not take spore swarm? We didn't. No. But we do have sand migration. For some reason, fungal plots with infinite mana seems pretty, or not infinite, but guaranteed five a turn seems pretty. Yeah, good. but you can only you activate it once because you only get one green. Oh right, my bad. I just think the, the trick breaks. actually seems fine. Yeah. The untap is very good. Eh, I'll take big fat idiot. Um, Navier's compass. No. Another gift seems good. Oh, the gorger came back. Surprising. Um. I almost don't mind this. Well, does it draw you a card at least? If it's if it's hexproof, if the creature was historic and it dies, you draw two cards. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Do we have what are what are our big bombs we want to protect? I mean, we have Urgros, uh, Guardians of Koilos, Arvad, Naromeha, Halar. The seven, seven, the Thorn Elemental. Or we can just take this guy. Eh, just take that. Okay. How many gifts of growth do we need? Jesus. Gift of Growth do enable like a win out of nowhere, kind of surprisingly. All right, but not really. Wow, this is bad. We have to play a Skirk Prospector in our deck. Oh Beautiful my god! Too. I did really Those like that card back in the uh, Goblin Gift. Watch runs draw these Skirk Prospectors every game. <clears throat> Anybody ever play that in Standard? Goblin Gift, God of Heroes Gift. That was a pretty sweet deck. I think you just made that up. You totally did. Cryomancer. Matt's username is Cryomancer. Oops. Who's Matt? Elk Tears. Wow. My name is Elk Tears, and then I kick you off the subway platform, and I run away, and I try to find an exit, and Trinity is calling me. Matrix reference. Poorly constructed. That's good. What can we get with Final Party? I feel like people are just super counterspelling things. Gonna Final Part. Do, 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 do. Oh, we have a play set of worms. Might be a dark bargain. <clears throat> just to guarantee putting more things in play. What if we take the Curator's Ward and put it on the Arvad? What does that really do, though? Just maybe draws us two cards later. Actually, we can take a Skirk Prospector and put it in the trash can so we don't draw it. Oh, that's good. Put a card into your hand. The other one on the graveyard. Yeah, that's good. Unwind. Oh. I mean, I think it unwind the, the Vampire Keeper. I doubt they're going to unwind this. Probably a Worm and... Uh, Guardian, right? Well, this guy's just gonna get better than the than the other guy, right? How many kick spells do we have left in the deck? I mean, all we need is one. Plus, it's legendary, so it actually gets a buff oh, from our Oh, that's true. That's true. That's true. T. Ravis, have a good afternoon, buddy. I'm glad we could entertain your morning. I feel like they had something. Like they're taking the 
a while to do anything. Like, it felt like they had a counter spell. Yeah. And just deciding what to counter, and then they countered nothing. And they're like, yeah, I don't want to. Okay. Oh, all right, well. Perfect. You may have just been new, new to this whole process. Oh, let's go back to the home and play 40 land. Oh, it's a 70 quest, though. Or 750, rather. Yeah. Whatever, I'll just keep it. We're not gonna... It's not like we're never gonna... It's not like you're never gonna play lands. Well, so when you win, well, when you win those that? uncommons each time, um, do you not have a play set of every uncommon from guilds? Um, like, why aren't those uncommon? Are, do they even, I don't think, do commons and uncommons become gems? Oh, they don't. I don't know. Wow, this is like, this is like what we did last game. Oh boy, we're having a good time. Scoop. So it's you control, right? I ain't scooping, what's wrong with you? Scoop. Scoop. Oh my god, scoop. <laughs> Scoop all spells. They become vault progress. All right, well. Sure. That's annoying. That is pretty annoying. <sighs> oh, what happened? No, they become vault progress. Okay, what is vault progress? Uh, the more you fill your vault, the more you get stuff. Like, you get to open the vault and, like, get a bunch of stuff. Do I even have a... I wonder how full my vault is now. I can't tell because I can't leave this thing. Is this still their first time? Yeah, uh, and that's all they did. That's kind of really impressive. You get to put uh, power on board. I'm okay. Unwind. They didn't. Oh no, I'm good. Off the Florida Keys. That's annoying. That's obnoxious. I'm having a good time. Fun fact, Involta's Clutch is just as good in this format. Uh, that's pretty good with our Forebearers Blade, but not when they stole our 7-7. Seven, seven. It's still pretty good. Of course they have Unwind. Never don't have the uh, Unwind. Bleh. Must feel good. Must feel so good to be right. Wow, alright, so we're just done here. Wow. They literally just have it all. They have unwind, befuddle, in a format where everything is free. Seems good. Cool, uh, cool legacy deck, bro, with all your force of wills. You know what, I, what is actually cool, though? If you go to coolstuffinc.com and use promo code FRANK5 and get 5% off your purchases there. How cool is that? That's pretty cool. It's pretty gosh darn cool. Wow, okay, let's take it easy. I want a mulligan just because of this guy, so yeah. this is our hand. I think it's probably better than that. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, fun. Should this we go to one? This is funny watching this happen in person. <laughs> this is the equivalent of getting mana screwed in this format. It really is. Hey, look, we're at 30. They're basically dead. This is hilarious. Actual hilarious. I mean, you might as well play it. I guess. And then sack it to add a red. Wait a second. That oh, gives us six. That gives you six. So we didn't take anything that needs six. And we didn't hope on having two Skirk Prospectors in our deck. No, you're right. But I do kind of like that in this format, there are ways to like break it so you can like activate the lie. I do think that's kind of nifty. Well, no, because you don't have double green, though. Where if do you, you get had the a second land green? A land or else. Or not July, That's but just true. like, or like the, the yeah, yeah, anywhere else. Hey, Kadeen. Or you can How activate you the today? candle, too. Welcome to the stream. You got it. Okay, haste. Oh, my God. Gross. Whatever, dude. They're just undoing this. Doesn't have trample? Sure, I'll prevent eight. It's like to get your mana. Oh. This, guy prevent, this guy prevented eight damage. This guy just gained us eight life. This is basically a poor man's Crozen Druid. He ain't no scoop. Wow. Scoop. 
shoot. You can't beat 40 life. But. Who's winning now? You gain 18 life. Oh, okay. for come on. Jesus. Fair gas, more like fair a dumb. So long, 20 life. No, you're still a Is this the life. Eggman? This is the Eggman. At the beginning of your upkeep, if his ex. No, oh, no, I was thinking of the other one. The Eggman. That's not the one that d does the egg counters? It is. I was thinking of Evictus, where, like, you exile a permanent of yours and of theirs. Why is that the Eggman? I don't know, man. Just. <laughs> Leave that scorpion alone. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, I don't know. Yeah, this is going well. This format is really busted. I feel like our first two decks are great and our second two decks not so much. I feel like over the course of as we've been playing, people are slowly figuring out the format. Yeah, um, people are realizing And like, becoming better than yeah, exactly. us. They're grinders, Frank. I mean, we're taking the same cards they are. We just end up with two Skirk Prospectors that just happen to be in our deck. Hey, it wasn't Skirk, and he saved us, like, a bunch of life. Yeah, but uh, you know what? You know what's even better than that? An actual creature that can trade with that. Skirk was bad. But it was really funny when you mulled it and still got it. You're right. The moment made it worth it. It did. I know. It was like when I called the uh, Sublime Archangel and we lost for that game. See, like, these cards are so subpar in this format. Holy shit. Come on, dude. Hey, okay, well, our deck wasn't all bombs. We're gonna have hands like this. Mama told me there'd be hands like this. This is just terrible. My experience of this format is having great fun for three and a half drafts, then halfway through the fourth, I suddenly started hating everything and all my decisions that led to that wow. moment. I feel like that's exactly... We're, uh, we're quickly approaching that. that yeah. Point. I feel like this is a format that's stuff like fun and goofy the first couple times, and then it's just kind of like, eh. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, all right, we 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 did the thing. It was fun. I'm getting a little over it. Uh oh, they're gonna go. Right. That's not how that works. I guess they still could. What do I yeah, know? Yeah, their last two cards could be the other guardian and the. Pet. Yeah, I don't think they are. They got the infinite pizza combos. Oh, you could kick gifts for growth. It's okay, they're not green. They're green, so they can't counter it. <laughs> thank you. That's a good point. Afro 2, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Mom said there'd be days like this, there'd be days like this. Crows and Druids said. Alright, well. Let's see what kind of shenanigans we have here. Okay. There's no way you fell for this unless it's just the one two bracket, which is terrible. Okay. Huh? Huh. I don't understand what's happening right now, but alright. What are your three cards? Got like three lands. Affinity, nice, nice clip grab, my dude. Uh, look at the top five cards you've real artifact from them and put in your hand. Oh, they're getting themselves some power stone shards. Well, they whiffed, so. That's cool. I don't know what's going on. That's probably their version of Skirk Prospect there. <laughs> yeah, the, the Antiquities War is their, their Skirk Prospector. I mean, it literally did nothing for them. This guy's trample. Fascinating. Halar. Halar. Uh, That's Medea. I don't want you to do that. I mean, we lose our crossing guy. I don't know, man. I just don't know the odds of them having many spells in hand after that. That's true. They whiff twice. The Antiquities War confirmed unplayable even for zero mana. Lol. I agree. What's the last thing that it does? Uh, it turns all your artifacts into five fives. Sure. So that's gonna go really well for them also. 
gain another. Oh, and we get to kick this guy again. That's pretty cool. Well, I don't want to attack here, so I'm not going to. Oh, there's an artifact. They got one. Yeah, you only counter draw except for when your opponent uh, does not seem like they're packing a significant amount of draw. So. Or is it still a point, too, if it's a wizard? Yeah, sure. Oh, that's pretty good. Don't unwind my sword, bro. One down. Um. Huh. A little garbage can over your cup. Oh yeah, because I didn't want to keep this. You didn't. Nostalgia. You didn't. Are you thirsty? No, I'm good. There's something you can just have a bunch of a big glass of nostalgia. Okay. <laughs> okay. I accept. You got it. These terms seem fair. My equipment's better than theirs, I think. Chat, honestly, stream. Almond Joy or Mounds? Almond Joys have nuts. Mounds don't. Wow. Alright, let's board the weather light. Let's see what they hit. A Particle Wander. That's a good one. Get out of my dreams. And into, and into my, my weather light. He saw where it was going. He yeah. saw the line. I know. Get out of my dream. Get out of my back. Wait, wait. What plane are we on here? Ravnaria. <laughs> Ravnaria. The I'm Chronic. What kills of Ravnaria? Echo these chat opinions of the Almond Joy. Yeah, I agree with that. Although they're both good. They're both good. I like the coconut and dark chocolatey nature of these candies. It's really bad if you like almonds mixed into or if you like the simplicity of this dark chocolate and coconut. For me, it's a mood thing. Sometimes I'm in the mood for you know, Sometimes like you're in the mood for nuts. Sometimes you're not. Wait, wait. These nuts? Almond Joys have nuts. Are those the witches? Doesn't Almond Joy have milk chocolate and Mounds have dark chocolate? No, they both have dark chocolate. Okay, that's good. I'm that's literally the only difference. That's why it's the song and the commercial. That's... Wow, okay. You don't have to be aggressive about it. But you were anyway. Well, actually... Oh, jeez. Someone else thinks... Furnishes dude says almond joy is milk chocolate, mounds is dark chocolate. Dark chocolate. This is my. This was what I was thinking as well. Yes. That'd be weird if like, like what if you wanted almond with the dark chocolate? I wonder if that's a special edition they ever do. All right, mounds is candy. It's consistent filling matrix which oh, draped from no. dark chocolate. The mounds yeah. bar is a sibling which is made the same way with milk chocolate. Oh wow. Oh wow. Yeah, that's what I thought. So I guess I was right. That's interesting. <sighs> Wait. So what was the song you were thinking of, Bioevolutionary? The song is still correct. All men joys have nuts. Mounds, mounds don't, don't. because but sometimes, sometimes you, you feel like it, and then they put the candy bar, and then sometimes, sometimes you, and then they put the other candy bar. Yeah, but the thing is, like, they, they're still accurate. All men joys do have nuts. Mounds don't. I that is accurate. I just thought that was the only difference. That's but what if, what if you want uh, the coconut, the almond, and dark chocolate? What are you gonna do? You're gonna have to invent your own candy bar, really. Well, I'm gonna write a letter to the. A strongly worded letter to the strongly editor. Strongly letter to the people, the good people at the Mounds Almond Joy Well, you know, I'm going to tell you something. As an American citizen, that is your right to do. That is your right to do. Maybe they make dark chocolate Almond Joys. It also says draped in dark chocolate, which is just... Google search at dark chocolate Almond Joys. I think his typing gives that Hey, man, away. can you duck, duck, goose a, uh... Is there a dark chocolate almond joy? There you go. These almond joy truffles are similar to just four ingredients. I want an almond joy mounds mashup. Almond joy bars made with sweetest coconut and toasted almond enrobed. Enrobed in, in milk chocolate. Mounds has the same coconut filling minus the almond, but it is coated in dark chocolate. I don't think it exists. I don't think it exists. What do they got there? Sorcerer's what? Sorcerer's wand. Ooh, a sorcerer's wand. Oh, well. You're a wizard, cross and druid. So they have to block all the sevens here, so. 
Actually, this guy just kills them, right? No matter if they, no matter what they block here, it kills them. So. Unless they have blessed light. I guess that's true. What is the difference between coded and enrobed if there is a huge difference? Uh, when you enrobe something, you're delicately coding it with love. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't say you're coding it. If yes, I can if I'm modifying the word coding and I'm saying you're doing it delicately and with love. Don't tell me what to do. You're not my dad. You're not my coat dad. You're not my enrobed dad. Uh, yeah, let's assign that damage to one block. I don't like that he hits these guys anyway. Alright, well we're 2-2 two -two now, so we're just gonna have to win them all. Sad. But exciting. <laughs> yeah, keep giving me these packs that have literally nothing in them. Is my treasure chest ready yet? No, no, let me find out. Wow, that was quick. Hi, calling for a friend. Is uh, Frank LaForge's treasure chest ready? It's not for me. My friend wants to know. Um, you can copy board the weatherlight. Actually, that's true. And I, put arcane flight on her. How do you retain priority? <laughs> it, I think it does it automatically. If uh oh. You can. Zalid confirmed. That guy's good. And robing something involves a robe. Coating something involves a coat. You're gonna enrobe your Naru Meha in arcane oh. flight. Coating is for outside chocolate and robing is for lounging around the house chocolate. This is really I'll take helpful. The ball paladin first. It's really helpful chat. Thank you. Okay, so we play <laughs> this. Why would I ever? Oh, you're just gonna ask me. So see, it holds it for you when you have something you can do. Resolve that. Resolve you. Copy that, dude. Okay. Um, ooh, ooh. Ooh. I think Yurgris is probably better, right? You do have a legendary already that's about to be a 4-4 four, four flyer, so it could, will be a 6-6 six, six flyer, which blocks Zalad. But this makes them discard cards at random. If we can't, they draw. we draw a card? I think that sounds better, right? Yeah, but... It, and we whiff. All right. Well, that's unfortunate. I got one. Let's see. I'm just going to save this. Man. And robing is also good for just out of the shower chocolate. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. Is it? I don't know. Let's work here. Now we have to discard this. This format's stupid. <laughs> so is your face. Okay. Well, that's good. Oh, I see. Huh. How nice. Huh. Look at all them huh. floaty boys. Huh. Well, we had a good run. Did we? Mm, uh, it's hard to say. Hey, we provided great entertainment. Did we? Did we, chat? It's Did hard we? to say. They're the, they're the judge of that. Oh, wow. Well, they're two vets, huh? Well, then. Why didn't they kick it? Because you can't. Cost six. They didn't have a skirt oh. prospector. Oh, yeah. Post combat frenzy rage. Seems good. So we're going to die to the two flying creatures? Sounds good. All right. Well, at a 2 3, a beautiful 2 3, that is going to conclude that match or that draft. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Send those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on meundies.com slash Frank LaPorte. You get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. You can check out coolstuffinc.com uh, where you'll get 5% off with promo code Frank5. And you can also check out Mana Traders. Uh, where you can actually rent physical and digital magic cards for Magic Online or for just paper paper decks for your local events. And uh, if you use the link in the description, you will get 20% off your first three months, which is pretty sweet. So definitely check that out. And uh, slam those like and subscribe buttons, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.